Uh, welcome back to Sunday Brunch. We're live. Next up, not only has he produced the likes of Blur and Madonna, he's got over 200 million record sales of his own music under his belt too. He lives in Venice. It is William Orbit. He's here to join us. Good, good morning, William. How good are morning. you? Buonasera. Eh, assolutamente fantastico. Oh, OK, ah. so you are fluent. Are you uh, No. <laughs> I, I, Makita, you, I, you get your Italian passport in a month. Go on, yes. Um, I, I don't speak the Italian language. No. <laughs> <laughs> Too non. Makita, I've got to confess, I don't really. I rehearsed that line. Okay. <laughs> God, you were really convincing. Really. How, how, how is living in Venice? Do you get gondolas around? Is it exciting? Mm. It's exciting. Gondolas are for fun, hanging out with friends. If you want to get moving around town, it's a speedboat. Oh. oh! Do you do you own I'm about, a? I'm about to get a second-hand old hoopty boat myself. With about you know the map. I think you're allowed to drive in the canals if your boat is like 50 cc. That's the equivalent of a moped. Right. Okay. okay. And is that how you? But go I just see trucks in the morning. You see whole trucks sitting on top of a boat delivering produce. Everything's on water. Yeah. Either that or push carts. Right. <laughs> no yeah. cars. No arms. No cycling. This is the future, no cars. Well, is it the future because the water's rising? Yeah. Is that what you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> London will be like that soon. Very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, William, we have to talk about your incredible, um, uh, incredible career that spans six decades. And you know, yeah, absolutely, we bow to you. And, and you've done. Some no, I'm bowing to you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, you've done some incredible things. I mean, for you, what, what's the ride of your career been like for you? You know, a roller coaster, a bit of the old up and down, uh, just like music waveforms. But right now it's on and up, which I cherish. I tend to keep it that way, you know. But it's, the thing is, when you're in the middle of it, you don't really see the perspective of it. And this time I'm trying to actually write it all down, make a note of it all so I can, you know, rejoice in it properly. Yeah. So I say to young Peter, I say that to young old in a moment. Don't, don't let it get to you too much, because, you know, try and enjoy it. Trying to enjoy it. Yeah. What what makes a good atmosphere in a studio? You say you work with people like Blur and Madonna and stuff. Is it is it, is it trying to create the right atmosphere to get the the best out of the artists? It, well, humour. We do a lot of hanging. A lot. If you came to a session, you, you, you might be like, but everybody turned up at ten the first day and did mostly did chatting. They turned up at three the next day, seemed to be mostly chatting. They all agreed. Hey everybody, let's make it seven o'clock the third day, and they'll roll in at three. And then the friend would say, Well, when's the music gonna get done? I'll say, Didn't you notice we just wrote a song two hours ago? You didn't notice, did you? That's how it works. Right. Until it gets really fiendish button pressing and you know, then it changes. But a lot of it's just larking around. Yeah. Mm. I wanted to talk That's about That's my session, thing. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like the right way to do it, I would say. I, I want to talk to you about the relationship that you have with Madonna, and it was obviously this pivotal time in her life when she brings out Ray of Light, she's turned 40, I think she's just become a mother, and unbelievably people are telling her she's passed, yeah. she's uh, literally just turned 40. Um, but for you, you weren't actually having a wonderful time in your life uh, in the process of making that album, and Madonna really cracked you and whipped you into shape to make that brilliant album. She did, you know, um, little things. I was on this diet I, th I was, thought was good and you weren't allowed to eat meat, but no, you weren't allowed to eat protein at the same time as uh, uh, carbohydrates. And I was getting a bit tired and two weeks in, she said, that's got to stop. And she, she forbade me and said, eat proper food. And that made a difference. Because it was only the two of us doing it really most of the time. Well, we've got to talk this about. Weird with this with your show. I've got. I can see. I can see you, and I can see myself. But I'm all out of time, so it goes diff right, left right. So I'm trying not to look at myself. Right. Luckily right. for us, it's good. Yeah, you're fine here. Let's talk about your new album. It's called um, The Painter. Um, good to get you back. Good to have new music. Can you tell us what it, what what's what we can expect from the album? Well, it's it's quite laid back, Tim. You know, it's a relaxing and reassuring album. One that doesn't necessarily like, you wouldn't necessarily drive around in your car booming out of your speakers. But it will last. I think if you listen to it lots of times, you'll, you'll hear little Easter eggs in there. I, I, it, made me, it made me happy to make it, that's for yeah. sure. I could derive great joy from doing it. 
We've got a clip actually. This is a uh, bank of wolf, uh, what, what wild bank of wild flowers. Bank of Sorry. wild oh, flowers. I'm gonna say wolf flowers. Wild flowers. Let's have a look. Here you go. Beautiful Sunday morning music, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. William? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I just realised you could make a really good noise with a, with a spatula knife. How, 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 um, how imaginative do, 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 can you get in your creative process? I mean, would we possibly hear a spatula on an upcoming record? Absolutely, I could turn that into a roaring bass line if I tried. And, you know, Tim, you said wallflowers. There's a story there, actually. That we, it was between Katie and myself and Georgia, it was... It was at one point wallflowers, then it was wildflowers. So you picked up on that. All right, OK. Um, William, we understand you've got a beautiful view in Venice. Could, could you take us to, to, to see it? Would you be able to do that for us? <laughs> and you guys are a little bit quiet. So okay. you just shout at OK. okay. Right. Show us Venice. <laughs> Show us Venice. Because we're, you know, live telly. I don't want your viewers to get seasick, so here we are. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, sorry, this is a TV show and it's um... By the way, all that artwork is William's artwork around the walls. It's fantastic. Mm. There you go. Let's have a look. Can you see it? I see oh. it on the Hello, Venice. You just see the square. Yeah. You see? Oh, oh yeah. nice. I mean, to have uh, eat in the cafe below, making sure there's no logos anywhere. I know that's the rule. No logos. That's another... <laughs> There you go. Did you see it all right? Yeah, yeah it's did. beautiful. Thank you, William. This is a TV Another show in TV <laughs> show in itself, Europe with William Orbit. Well, as it happens, that's my being on my mind as well. But there are no logos here. There's none of those adverts. It's great, great big honking steroid colour, you know. It's like everything is nuanced and the colour it's a colour feast here. Oh. Yeah. Well, you William. seem very happy there. I'm happy yes. that you're there, William. William, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're all going to go there on holiday, I think. Thank you That's so really much. Well, well, come, come. Your, your album, The Painter, is out now. Thanks, William. A presto. Bye-bye. <laughs> Adios. What's goodbye? Adios. <laughs> <laughs> In a moment, we're talking to Dave. But first, uh, Simon, we'll be talking to Rosie James. Au revoir. Rosie James, <laughs> later on. Here's a look at this week's trip hazard. Oh.